Hey, what's up everybody? My name is TrophyNet and welcome back to The Witcher 3 on the that much difficulty. We're still playing the Hearts of Stone expansion and oh shit spiders. Um, I'm heading towards Bowden because I want to do that mission that we got from that woman that stopped us outside the Garen estate. That the, the woman that called us Puss Peepers. God damn it. Get away spiders. And she wanted us to uh, investigate Bowden for uh, clues about her partner, Cliverd's murder. And, uh, well, we're gonna see what we can find here. It seems the place has been abandoned and it's probably overrun with uh, necrophages of some sort. Let's take care of those first. Hello? Yeah, there we go, ghouls. And there goes the last one. So let's uh, quickly loot these buggers and uh, check out the place. Because uh, we need to find out what's going on here. Well, what happened here most likely. Um, let's see what we can find. Smells like solutions, reagents. Wonder what's cooking. Okay, leads to this house. Huh. Seems to be a cage here. Smells of... Uh, they were cooking Fistec. Ooh, drug dealers. Took most of the equipment when they left what was broken. Okay. So they were making drugs here. Mushrooms all over the place. And then there's footsteps over the here. Window. Boot print on the bed. Somebody was in a hurry. Okay, and then there's this note here. Warning letter can be dangerous trade narcotics. Clever mate, you gotta keep your eyes peeled wide open. Someone's taken an interest in your work. They want to make you an offer you're not gonna be able to refuse. In your shoes, I'd pack it up and go hide somewhere far away. Zarakania, for example. Roderick. So uh, Clever is, by the way, another Dutch name, which is why I'm pronouncing it probably weirdly for you guys. I'm gonna take a look in the back. Cause someone must have left here. Prince, uneven. Someone ran through here. Okay, so let's follow those and see where that leads us. Okay, it leads to this bush. Stopped here for a second, hid, then ran on. Okay. Moving on then. Must have jumped through here. Graceful. And then this hay bale. No, okay, he didn't hide in that one. Oh, and then a corpse. Scar on his forehead. Must be Clivert. Bolt in the back. Went in deep, so close range shot. From the village, where that direction looks like. Okay, so then there might still be someone over there. Look around for signs of the man who shot the bolt. Um... He shouldn't be too far off, right? And it would be weird that he came from this direction, so we should be looking in the direction of the village. There we go. He stood right here. Crossbow bolt and footprints deep. Shooter must have been wearing heavy armor. Okay, another set of tracks to follow. Oh. Did that just... Stop. Oh no, okay. Sometimes the Witcher sense uh, bugs out a bit. It causes it to not show anything anymore. Okay, and then a horse. Hoof prints leading towards the hill. Someone's still there. From one set of tracks to the next. Explore the knight's camp and defeat the knights. Okay, that's not really exploring, is it then? I'm gonna add some uh, hangman's venom. Because we'll be able to use that probably. Oh shit. Maybe I need to check if I have my uh, bolt deflection on. Oh, I can't even do that during combat. Great. And 
I'm gonna smash this guy to bits. There goes the legs. So there's probably one guy using a, a crossbow over there. There goes that guy. So that guy is now on my team. Yeah, I am. <laughs> Eat it, bitch. Haha. <laughs> and there goes uh, the last one. <laughs> okay. So that was the night. Holy shit. Order of the Flaming Rose Sword. That sounds interesting. Let's read the orders. Thunder, I'm warning you, snort that much fist tech again, and you'll end up at that wit white wood. Just like that mad fist fiend, Peter. Your job's to sell the product, not inhale it. Blazing hells. Expect to pick up today. M. Hmm. Okay. So those guys are all dead. Maybe check out these guys' equipment. Might as well take those swords, right? Okay, and then the guy over there. Maybe I'm gonna leave that over there. First, uh, check out this place. There's another letter here. Orders to attack Bowden. I've heard rumors the abandoned village of Bowden Bowden's abandoned no more. A pack of common bandits have moved in and made it into their own little Fistack manufactory. We cannot allow this. I'm issuing the order to attack the village and exterminate the vermin. We'll make an example, strike some terror in the, into everyone's hearts, haul any equipment and supplies to our lab northwest of Brunwich, and destroy everything else. Ulrich. Okay. Does that change my quests? It doesn't appear to, because I need to... Well, it did. I need to investigate further now. So there's a book here, probably a ledger of some sort. And of course, a lot of fist tag. So these soldiers, these, these knights, were making uh, some drugs of their own. And then, like the competition, Thunder's Journal. There are a few poems and abstract drawings in the journal. Most of it is incomprehensible scribbling. I was transferred to the smuggling spot again. I love this job more than any other, but there's not much to do. Just sit all day waiting for buyers, and naturally, when a man's bored and has good merchandise right under his nose, he'll give it he'll give it a sniff or two. Besides, sometimes someone shows who doesn't like our profession, or who tries to cheat us, then we get to give that gentle someone the treatment he deserves. Ugh, all this writing's worn me out, so I think I'll see if I can sniff up a bit of R and R, then I'll write a poem. Margin note: Watch a dance, the world's heaving, turning. Instance pass and answers all life's yearning. Count it up, the sand flies through the glass. Slurp life down, let it pickle, let its pickle and your fast. Chemical scores and satisfaction slowly fades. Flesh enlists in ecstasy as bliss blows your veins. And doom spreads its wares on, on your life's cracked remains. Okay, great poetry. And there's a chest here as well, so let's check that out. Trousers diagram untranslated. That's probably from the uh, merchant we've been talking about. Order of the Flaming Rose stuff and another letter with... Huh, can I read that? No. Diagram of the Order of the Flaming Rose sword. And then uh, another batch of orders, but that's probably the same as uh, the other note we found. And there's a lot of horses here, of course, of those bandits. 
But uh, give me a second and I'll head towards that camp in the northwest. So we're getting pretty close to where we need to be. I can see a shack over there. So let's activate the quench sign again. And see what we can do here. Because there are more fallen knights here. So let's take our precautions. Refresh the uh, hangman's venom on my sword. Activate the quench sign. I did that already. And apparently let's have a little chat with these fallen knights. They're taking up inventory apparently. What's this? Order of the Flaming Rose have a new seat? Not too shabby. You listen, vagrant. Don't know why you're here, but take my advice. Go back to wherever you came from. Nice accent. So, why are you still standing there? I need to smash your plate. I'd like to see you try. Don't like your tone, change it. <laughs> What's inside? Wondering what you got inside. Because it reeks of fist tech to me. Mind if I have a look, brethren? Aye, we'd mind. Very much so. Enough of these games. I'm counting to three, and you're gonna be gone when I'm done. Got it? One, two. <laughs> Wanna fight? Fine by me. So, I'm not gonna pay them off. Maybe Axie? Got a better idea. You're all gonna count to a hundred. Got it? There we go. Three, four, <laughs> five, six. Bunch of dimwits. Great start. Now step aside. <laughs> Seven, eight, you guys eight, are ten, dumbasses. 11, 12, so let's open the door. 15, wow. 14, 15, 16, are they really gonna do that all the way to 100? 19, 10, 10. You forgot 20, idiot. <laughs> 23, 24, okay. So let's pick up everything we can find and rob these bastards blind. Nothing of interest just yet. A bit of uh, booze. Um, is this safe? Is the bridge safe? Yeah, the bridge is safe. Hello, Fallen Knight. He doesn't seem to mind. So let's talk to your leader. He's uh, checking out the merchandise, apparently. Hi. Man with gas mask, but why isn't he wearing one then? Bloody hell! Who the devil are you? Surprise! I'm a witcher, or as your brethren prefer to call me, a mutant, a freak. With a nice scar on his face right now. You shouldn't be in here. And Knights of the Flaming Rose shouldn't be murdering humans or producing drugs. No, they shouldn't. Drew, we shouldn't. We're supposed to defend the downtrodden. Spread faith in the eternal father. And why Adam aren't you? Us. He broke his oath, sent our brethren to the front as common grunts, and once the mighty order was bled dry, he disbanded us. Doesn't mean you need to go uh, into crime. Confiscated our domains to finance his war. The brethren who didn't object were appointed mage hunters. Those who took umbrage dared to stand up to him. They were imprisoned or exiled. So your logical next there step was, was to create drugs. The and we must find a new place in this world. As drug dealers? Honestly, I don't give a damn. <laughs> Congratulations and goodbye, but no, we're gonna confront them with their with the facts. You turned rogue? That your idea? wonder what Siegfried of Danel would say. Siegfried of Danel would... But how do you even... I know you. You're Geralt of Rivia, Shacht Aldersberg's killer. Yes, indeed. None other. And if I had to go back, I'd do it again. That was the start of our downfall. You were the beginning. A cursed mutant. Draw your blade! Hmm. No need to yell. Just ask. Politely. <laughs> yeah, cuz uh You shall die! Yeah. Oh shit!
And down we go. And there we go, one for me. Let's kill that one. Yep, thank you. Oh shit! Not good indeed. I want to kill that uh, Bowman here. But he has a pretty big skull. Jesus Christ. I've got the high ground and now I've got the low ground. Let's uh, kill everybody else, right? <laughs> I love Axie. I really love Axie. So, hi, how are you? Great today? Burning? Goodbye. Goodbye, good sirs. Let's take that sword and uh, I'm gonna take a quick look around. So uh, I'm gonna loot everything and I'll see you guys in a second back at the woman who hired us. That called us uh, Puss Peepers. So we're back in Oxenford and I want to take the opportunity to first uh, go past the Armor's Bench and the Grindstone. Which both should be uh, permanent effects right now and I don't see a timer so I'm guessing I only need one sword to have that effect so I might be able to change one sword to do something else. But first, hello Adela, that was your name apparently. Avenged your friend. <laughs> I knew you'd succeed, puss peepers. Puss peepers. I knew it. Go on, out with it. Who was the bastard? Um, the Order of the Flaming Rose. Bastards. Brethren of the Order of the Flaming Rose. What do you do to them? Scald them with hot irons, pick out their eyes, skin them alive. Um, just cut off parts no, of their body. Just killed them. Oh, so handsome and so boring. Sadly, I can't hey, say the same peeps, your gold. of you. Be enough for an ounce of panache. Thanks. Rose on the red field completed. And with that, I'm going to take a little break. So uh, I'd like to thank you all enormously for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, don't forget to like it right here on YouTube. And if you haven't already, don't forget to give it a thought to subscribe to my channel. Because I'd really appreciate any support you guys can give me. So thank you guys again enormously for watching. And I hope to see you in the next video stream. Goodbye.